the last videos explained how to install, run, user account settings, and rep job creation in the Envision. This video is about the device manager and device configuration tool. It will detail what is a device manager and how we can add a device in the device manager. To run Envision 3.1, we need to double click on the desktop icon for the Envision. When the window opens select the rep job created, test test, and enter the username and password then click on the login button. Now, the window for the license has opened, click on, continue without installing, then click on, OK, in the next window. All the BACnet devices connected to the system will be saved in the device manager. To read the data from the devices or controllers and to send the logic program to the controller it is a must to add the devices to the Envision. Now, the Envision GUI has opened. To open the device manager, Click on the Backtalk menu in the menu bar. Now you can see Device Manager in the menu. Click on it. Now the Device Manager window has opened. The device which is shown in the Device Manager is the Envision installed on this PC. Now to add a new device to the Device Manager, click on the Device Scan button on the right side of the Device Manager. The device scan window has opened now, click on the scan button, then you can see the devices connected to the Envision in the scan window. Click on the stop button and select the device then click on save to table, now you can see the devices in the device manager. How can we configure device instances in the VLC controllers from the Envision? For that, click on the Tools menu in the menu bar then click on DDC and then click on Advanced VLC. Now, the VLC configuration window has opened. Click on Configure Device Instance to begin the configuration. Instead, you can use function keys. Now enter the details of the MSTP loop of the VLC controller selected. MSTP network number, VLC controller's MAC address, and device instance of the controller.
Now, click on Send to VLC or Function Key F1 to send these configurations to the VLC. Please note that the MAC address is to be set manually in the controller before configuration.